Okay, okay. So here we are. Attack on Titan. Let's talk about how far we are in in season two. And they say if they say if we'll only avoid avoid any confrontation with the enemy, he'll forget his evil ways and learn to love. What is going on, guys? You know, right over. Welcome back to another new. Whoa. Uh. Whoa. Uh. Sorry, I went off there, but. Well, welcome back to another new Attack on Titan gameplay, and we're here today, but to talk to you guys about stuff. Uh, many different stuff, and it's not just, you know, it's not simple, it's literally... It's literally just talking about the episodes of... to talk about the, ep the episodes from Season 2 so far. And so, right now, are you guys ready for it? There's going to be a lot of spoilers, spoiler warning. You must click off right now. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, and I, hopefully I'll put up a black screen saying spoiler, click off. So right now. Oh, actually, I could just keep it here. You guys can read this, or you could click off. All right, that should be enough time. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe now. Oh no! Click off right now. Like I said before, these are going to be a lot of spoilers that I've decided. You know, here we go. Okay, let's start right now. So basically, basically, oh god, teammate, don't die, bro. Basically, what Attack on Titan has been all about has been all about just. Titans, right? Where we're trying to attack the no, the, the the Titans are trying to attack us. So, when you think about that, when you think about the motherfucking Titans, right? And you know that uh, if you if you guys did watch season one, which I'm kind of hoping you have, if you have not, please click off the video and go watch season one instead of listening to me talk. There have been a couple characters that we have been suspicious of. Number one, character Annie. Annie has been a very, very uh, big um, Titan. No, she was a Titan, basically. There is nothing, there is nothing less about it. Um, she has been she has just been very, very sketchy throughout the Haunter storyline, and in the end, she does commit suicide. Suicide? Well, not really suicide, but she does disappear, or she makes sure the, uh, the, uh, come on, horsey, the, um, Titan identities are gone. And since she did that, there is no way of any of us knowing, uh, what the heck, uh, any of these titans are we only know that they are just literally titans we have no other thoughts of who the heck who the heck they are what the heck they're doing here and why they have been eating humans for the past couple hundred thousand years why we are still fight why they are still fighting them in the anime why this why that why air is in his mother fudging basement still never told us what the hell the basement's supposed to do what the hell the basement's hiding what the hell? Is his dad still alive? You know what I mean? All these questions are just questions that we can't figure out in time. We would not, we would not be, we would have never been able to figure it out in the first season of Attack on Titans. Now, the, uh, now Attack on Titans is not, it's a, it's a great storyline. It's great. It's great and stuff. But it will, uh, it, it will cause you to be blinded by a lot of things. For example, um, we don't know much about Levi. Levi is, is, uh, we don't know why he acts like that. Why he's such a, why he's just interesting to us, right? Or interesting to me, at least. That's my opinion. Um, uh, but basically, I'll find another link down below for you guys to uh, read. Uh, yes, this is a manga. A manga. And I recommend you guys just to go and read it. Uh, it's all about Levi's story. Actually, wait, they made an OVA. I take that back. They made an OVA about Levi's background story and how he became who he is today. And if you guys really want to watch that, please go do so. Please do so because, um, 
Whew. I'm not gonna go off on Levi's story. I'll go off on it um, a different time. This is kind of different. Uh, but yeah, Levi has such a weird no, not weird story. It's such a sad story, and that's all I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna say. I don't want to spoil much about Levi's story. Uh, Levi's story is a little bit too. Um, his story is different. Let me tell you, his story is way different. Um, but anyways, going back to my couple of things. No, don't kill him, please. Let me go back to a little couple of things about what I wanted to talk about. The ca past couple episodes of season two have just been non-stop. Oh my goodness, that 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 what that is what um that's what the past couple episodes have been about. So just the first episode, we met the mother fudging. Oh God. For the past couple, um, uh, yeah, first episode, we met, guess, we met who? We met Mitch. Mitch, right? We met Mitch, but we also met who else? The Beast Titan. The mother fudging Beast Titan. And ever since we met the Beast Titan, um, Mitch died. Spoilers. <coughs> but ever, but we noticed that the Beast Titan can talk. It has sense. Has sense of communication. Has a way of, um, just doing things which is kind of freaky I must say how it could just do that it doesn't have to do much it can just talk that's and that's that's one of the points I wanted to prove to you guys is that this is not just any ordinary Titan this is a tight this is I don't even think it's just a Titan I believe this is more than a Titan I believe it could for one one of my theories I believe it's Aaron's dad I don't know why it just it just hits me there I've never read the manga about who the heck he is um, don't know why the heck he's here I've just been thinking maybe he's Aaron's dad you know I mean Aaron's dad didn't even know that they were in part of 3d maneuvering gears you know that's why he picked them up he didn't know what they were that's why I was I've been kind of confused about the last couple episodes is that the beast titan who are you he can call titans to attack places he throws boulders in episode two or i think it was four in episode three or four it was probably three but the scout regiment uh or uh, wings of freedom what, what levi's wearing right now the wings of freedom right here the scout regiment thing or that those guys got stuck on top of a castle and they were stuck on top of the castle fighting titans but titans don't attack at night they attack during what the day because they can't see during night they are basically human like except except humanoid human eating creatures yeah uh but they just have been they they just randomly went there in the moon when the moonlight opens you just see titans all around them but why that's the question why they show you the beast titan and then you go but how and then that's when you just go i don't know bro it's so confusing it's it's so utterly confusing we don't know what to do i did a hard one didn't i damn it but we just don't know um it's just very very difficult to understand when we saw that but then thinking about it i did play the game and the game kind of said the beast titan can call titans places and looking back on it i did see on first episode when mitch got grabbed and got bit the beast titan told the little titan not to kill him because he wanted the information and that kind of told me oh my goodness this guy could be the real deal this guy could do something that we don't know about he could be anything he could it, it was just a crazy moment for me uh i just didn't know what to do at that point i kind of freaked out uh i kind of made many different um things after that um but yeah that's that's my, my that's my first intake about the beast titan i believe that he is aaron's father 
there is no way in doubt that they are not the, he is not Aaron's father. It, there, the, I mean, like, we, we don't even know where Aaron's dad is literally dead. We don't know about that. All we know for sure is that, is literally that Aaron was given powers. But by who? We don't know yet. That's another thing that we don't know about. Is that who the hell gave Aaron the ability to kill? The ability to turn into a titan? The, the, uh, I mean, the hatred, it, that was easy come. That was easy givings. That was from the mother being killed from a titan. But did you know that Aaron's, Aaron's mom was killed by a certain titan, apparently? I didn't know that, actually. Um, what I just figured out was that Aaron's titan could have been... Well, the Aaron, you know, the Aaron... Okay, the titan that killed Aaron's mother was... Could most probably have been another, you know, titan. Uh, no, another humanoid titan, where someone could turn into that titan. I don't have any information about this. I have no clue. Uh, don't ask me. Thank you. That'd be great. Because I have, I have no clue if that's uh, really, really what it is. Um, I'm just taking, it was just a leap of faith. But, um, yeah, Aaron's, Aaron, uh, the titan that killed Aaron's mom could have been humanoid we don't know now this is gonna go a little crazy but on episode four or no it was it was episode two was when we started to figure something out and that thing was oh my god more of them have come out Ugh. the thing was we finally figured out why the priest is not allowed to talk and that is because of krista but 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 Krista doesn't remember things. Like, wouldn't she remember... Wouldn't she... Wouldn't she have remembered certain things? Such as, um... Like, why? Wouldn't she act a little bit less goddess? We don't know. We don't know about, um... Krista at all. We know that she is a cute goddess. We know that she is this. We know that she is this or in that. But really, what the heck is she? You know what I mean? Okay, I just wasted gas. I just wasted so much gas just to do that. We we don't. I don't think we will ever know what the heck she if she is. What the heck she does. All we know for sure is that she has something to do with it and no one knows what the heck like why why her right just why her um oh god there's so many and this is the reason why i picked levi Going back. Going back to my little information talk here. Um, and here we go. Connie, you did that perfectly. Let's talk about Reiner. Let's talk about... Um, Freaking, um, Bertolt, Bertolt, eh, them, those two are what is really, really causing a little suspicion to me. I don't know why, they just caused it. Something, it, it, something just, something triggered in me so hard that it just kind of told me, oh my god, these two could be it. Because Annie, uh, Reiner, Bolthold, they were just ones that they would always hang out with each other. They were never away from each other. They are always together. Like, why? Why are you guys always together? Do you guys always have to be together? Like, you guys can be with someone else, right? But no, they are always together. Oh my god. Bruh. 
I was just trying to have a good conversation. My theories about this goddamn beast titan, and he just randomly appears, you know, no big deal. I want to get the uh, dire subjugation. I think he's just going to sit there. Okay, that's easy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, but going back to my little conversation with you guys, I believe Reiner, if you really think about it, I'll try putting up Reiner's face right now, and I'll also put up um, freaking uh, Armor Titan's face right now. Don't they look similar? Like, come on, bro. You can't tell me that they don't. They are so similar to each other that we don't, we, we, we just, we just don't know. We literally don't know. Uh, but my, my guess is that they are literally, um, my guess is that they are, alright, let's destroy this arm, actually. My guess is that Reiner is the, uh, My guess is that Reiner is... See, look at that! The Beast Titan called random titans out of nowhere! Oh, wrong side. But I believe Reiner is is hiding something, but we just don't know what. So we're gonna. I'll hopefully we'll figure that out later on today uh, when I go up to watch the next episode. And when I do go up to watch the next episode, it's gonna be amazing. Um, but uh, one other person that I wanted to talk about was none other than Bertolt. Uh, I believe that he is. I believe that he is Colossal Titan. There's no way that he's not the Colossal Titan. There, there's too much, too much information for me to be saying no. Or yeah, basically, there is a lot of there is a lot of information saying that he's not. But to me, I believe he is because he's hanging out with Reiner so much. He's he's so quiet and he's taller out of the group and he's shorter. Female Titan. Uh, Rhino's shorter than uh, Berthold, so that's why I think he's the Colossal Titan, just because he's tall, but also because he's ha hanging out with Reiner, Reiner's um, and, uh, a Titan, and if they were really best buddies, uh, yeah, you would keep a secret, but the thing is, uh, Berthold would have probably told because he would have been scared, and that's, that's why I think that way, I just believe that, it's just who I am, and it's just a it's just hard to think that way. Um, but yeah. But now, let's go on to the recent episode that we have successfully watched. And that would be the F F F4 of um, Attack on Titans. And here we go. We're going to do one last one. One last mission. But we are going to do... Um, talk about episode 4. What the hell was episode 4? Yermer can understand the writing on the bottle of of the the canned food. Reiner can't read it. The other scouts can't read it. But like she can read it perfectly. So what does that mean? It has to mean something. And when she says, "Here we go," you, do, do you know what that meant? That time when she just decides to take Connie's freaking knife. And she just goes in? It was at that moment when I finally knew you're a titan. There's no doubt about it. But she's fighting for who? That's right. She's fighting for Krista's sake. And at I think it was probably F3 was when we finally uh, like thought about a couple things. Because the first moment when uh, Yermer asked... Why Krista, why Krista, you're fighting for something. Why you're fighting for this. Why you're fighting for that. You know, this, that. All this, all this stuff that Yumer can't, kept spitting. 
out, just out and back and, you know, stuff like that really caught my attention because, oh god, let me aim for the neck. Because it just, it just kind of told me, like, did Krista forget something? Did Krista do this? What did Krista do? What... What is Krista now? Like, everything came to me and kind of told me, oh my god, here we go. This, we're, we're about to figure something out. And you know what? When I, when I heard that, I was like, oh god, here we go. Krista's a bad guy. I don't know why I kept thinking that. I just, it just came to me so many different times that Krista was going to be a bad guy. That Krista is already bad. That Krista is just working, but doesn't know it. Like she's just, what? What is she doing? You know what I mean? So yeah, that I, I I have nothing else left for Yermer. All I know is that she can turn into a Titan. If you guys want to know what the Titan looks like? Please go watch it. Um, or I'll, I'll put up a I'll put up a little um, I'll put up a little uh thinking about just just in case you know what I mean I'll put up one I'll put up a picture of what Yermer looked like uh, in the anime uh, yeah and that's what uh, Yermer looks like by the way uh, but doesn't it remind you of something like a Titan from something else from somewhere else, should I say. You know what I mean? It just It just looked familiar. I don't know why it looked familiar to me. I've never read the manga of Attack on Titans. It's just always been like... A, it's just been a ro motherfucking roller coaster to me. I've always been confused. There has been nothing else that I could do with... Um, with... Um, Attack on Titan overall. I've never understood it. Will I ever understand it? Not until probably season two ends. I we don't even actually we don't even know if they're gonna give us us like the full information of what season two is supposed to be about. You know what I mean? We don't even know. So that's why I'm kind of like scared of what's gonna happen. Is there gonna be a season three of freaking uh, season of a freaking attack on titans are they gonna make a third season of on are they gonna make a third season of attack on titans if so when if if you know all this all that you know what i mean it's just it's just scary to think that it might happen why why did oh uh, what you were the end? Oh man, but yeah, it's just scary to know um, that it, we we haven't even gotten to the Aaron's basement yet. We still haven't figured out if Aaron's dad is still alive. We, we haven't even gotten the Reiner and Bolt, Bolt, her, Bolt, Bert Holt yet, if they are truly the Titans. We haven't even gotten to the Armored Titan against Aaron. It, we see that in the thing where it goes to Sasseo. Sasseo. Freaking uh, something, something, something. I don't speak Japanese, but I know a little bit. But he goes in with Aaron, and you see them punching. But you don't understand it. it it's just crazy. You know, it's just... Like, come on, man. If you guys are going to make a third season, make sure it doesn't take us five years to get to it, you know? 2012 is the first episode of Season 1 Attack on Titans. It has been five goddamn years since... Season 2, and we're only getting 12 episodes. 24 episodes for 5 years, I would understand. 12 for 5 years. Makes no sense. Uh, but that's that's just my opinion of Attack on Titans right now. What I think, my little review of the 4 episodes that I've watched so far. I'm gonna go watch number 5 and probably make another video soon. Because it has been approximately more than 2 hours since uh, Kiss Anime has told me. It will come out in two hours, so I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna go watch it real quick, because I need to go watch it, and then I'll probably make another video. I hope you guys do enjoy this. I'm gonna be making a lot more, oh god, hiccup. I'm gonna be making a lot more of these. Um, hope you guys did enjoy this. Take care. Goodbye, everybody. Make sure you guys leave a like if you guys do want me to do more anime reviews. 
拜拜。